Did you know that over 50% of people who have headaches are either attention type or migraine? If this sounds like somebody like you, then stay tuned for my five best exercises for relief and prevention tips to help avoid these headaches. Hey, welcome back to the channel where I talk about everything preventative medicine, rehabilitation, and of course, physical therapy. So before we get to the exercises, I just want to take a minute to explain a little bit more about what headaches are and how these exercises can help. So the International Headache Society classifies headaches into two main categories, being primary, where there is no underlying organic cause to the headache, and secondary, where there is an underlying organic cause to the headaches, or possibly a more serious pathology. Today I'm just reviewing the primary headache section, which includes your migraines, cluster type headaches, and tension type headaches. So the two types of primary headaches that physical therapists can diagnose and help treat with are tension type headaches and migraines, and I'll get into a second for the reason why this. Tension type headache symptoms can include a tight band going around your forehead to the back of the head. The symptoms could be variable or intermittent. There could be associated neck pain. The duration for these headaches can be short or long, lasting hours at a time. And there can also be some photosensitivity related to this. So migraine symptoms are a little bit different in that these will have association with nausea, possibly neck pain. There may be an aura where somebody can tell and know exactly when the headache is going to onset. And there can also be photosensitivity and smell sensitivity. And these migraines are a little bit more disabling than just your regular tension headaches. If you want a little bit more detailed information about this primary and secondary headaches, you can go ahead to the links right here. So knowing that neck-related pain and tightness can be a symptom of both tension-type headaches and migraines, this could actually mean that there is a cervicogenic disorder going on causing the headache itself. And my exercises provide relief for these cervicogenic headaches. So without further ado, let's get into the exercise to see if you actually qualify in the cervicogenic headache.
So my prevention tips are related to the headaches we already discussed, and these are to help reduce the intensity of the headaches or to avoid any types of triggers for onset. Number one is to avoid any type of position or activity that may cause neck tightness or pain, and an example of this is sitting at the office with poor posture. Number two is to avoid dehydration, so making sure you're drinking plenty of water throughout the day. Number three is to avoid any type of stressful situations for you. Number four is to make sure you're not sleep deprived and getting at least eight hours of sleep for night. And number five is to avoid any kind of artificial bright lights that may be triggering your headaches. All right, so that's a wrap. So if you found any value in this video, you can go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I have new videos coming out every week. Otherwise, you take care and I'll see you next time.